Hi, I'm Jeff Gonzalez, president of Trident Concepts, and today I'm here with Brownell's Daily Defense to go through season three shooting drill number three. This is one of my favorite drills. I really like this drill because it helps people to get an appreciation for sight alignment. And more importantly, when you misalign the sights. So many times when we are looking and studying shooter errors, a lot of times we want to say that it has to do with sights. And many times it is a sight related issue. But sometimes to show students how much you would have to purposely misalign the sights to get that shot to be in that location, it kind of helps them to realize, okay, maybe it's not my sights, maybe it's something else. And that leads us to the next most likely culprit, which is gonna be trigger. So in this drill, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to purposefully misalign our sights on the target so that you can see the displacement of your rounds. And when you can misalign the sights this grossly, and still see the hits on target, you're like, okay, well, maybe the sight system isn't really the biggest issue that I'm dealing with. Now, <clears throat> this drill is one where your constant point of aim will be the bullseye, the X-ring. And the best way to kind of keep that in mind is that you wanna be looking through the rear sight always in the same manner, and then it's your front sight that's gonna be purposely misaligned. All right, so let me explain how we're gonna do this. You will start by firing one round where you carefully lower the front sight post so the top of the front sight post is now equal with the bottom of the rear sight notch, okay? Then we're going to go ahead and shift to where the right edge of the front sight is in line with the left edge of the rear sight. Then we're going to take the top of the front sight, we're gonna raise it up, and we want the bottom of the front sight to be at the top of the rear sight notch. Then we're gonna take the left edge of the front sight post and put it on the right edge of the rear sight. Now when you do this, you should see the sights displaced, but still well within an acceptable accuracy standard given this distance of five yards. All right, so let's take a look at what this will look like. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the front sight so that it's at the very bottom of the rear notch. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take the right, the front, I'm gonna take the front sight post on the left edge, on the right edge, and put it on the left edge of the rear sight. Now I'm gonna take the top of the front sight, I'm gonna take the front sight's base and put it at the bottom of the front sight, or the rear sight. Now I'm gonna take the left edge of the front sight, put it against the right edge of the rear sight. All right, so you can see that the sights are purposely and grossly misaligned, yet they still are producing a reasonable shot group that allows the shooter to understand that, yeah, even when I really misalign my sights, I'm still gonna get them up on target. That means basically that while you're pulling the trigger, you, the front sight completely disappears from the rear notch. So let that soak in for a moment. And let me say that again. As you're pulling the trigger, the front sight completely moves out of view of the rear notch to create those gross errors on the target right now. And when you realize that and you look at that, you're thinking, oh, wow, that means that I didn't see the front sight at all, yet they're still producing some pretty decent shot groups downrange. And that sometimes is a little bit of a boost of confidence that, okay, I just need to be able to see enough of my sight for the shot required, and I'm good. So play with this drill. I think you'll find that it's actually very eye-opening, no pun intended, for you to understand how to properly use your sights and how much you can still be off and generate a hit. Love to hear your comments. Please feel free to post them down below. Until then, take care and stay safe.
Thank you.